Hello dear students, I welcome all of you to the discussion of the pre-need mock test number 2. We will be discussing the physics portion here. The students will start with the section A, that is the question number 1 to question number 35. The first question says that the pitch of a screw gauge is 0.5 millimeters and there are 50 divisions on its circular scale. The screw gauge has a least count of, so four options are there, 0.05 millimeter, 0.25 millimeter, 0.01 millimeter and 0.001 millimeter. The students to solve this question, we must know that the least count of a screw gauge can be written as pitch by the number of divisions on the circular scale. And from the question, we can see that the pitch is given to be equal to 0.5 millimeter and the divisions are 50. So this will be equal to 0.5 divided by 50. And this turns out to be equal to 0.01 millimeters. And hence, for this question, the correct answer turns out to be option number 3. Now, let us move to the question number 2. In question 2, the mean free path lambda for an ideal gas at constant pressure with molecular diameter d in terms of absolute temperature t has relation. So, there are four options. Lambda is proportional to t, lambda is proportional to root t, lambda is proportional to 1 by t, or lambda is proportional to t square. Dear students, here in the formula that we can use here is that lambda is equal to 1 by root 2 pi n d square, where d is the molecular diameter, n is the number density of the gas particles. Also, we know that Pv can be written to be equal to n into kb where n is the number of the particles in the gas and kb is the Boltzmann constant. Now, we can also write down that the number density small n will be equal to n by v and from the above equation, dear students, it will be p by kb t. Now, dear students, if we substitute the value of n into our first equation, we get lambda to be equal to kb divided by root 2 pi d square p and in the numerator there will be a term of t. Therefore, we can clearly see that lambda is coming out to be proportional to t and hence for this question the correct answer is clearly option number 1. Now moving on to the question number 3. In question 3, the maximum wavelength of radiation that can produce photoelectric effect in a certain metal is 2000 angstrom. The maximum kinetic energy acquired by electron due to radiation of wavelength 1000 angstrom will be nearly and the four options are 3.4 electron volt 6.2 electron volt 1.2 electron volt or 12.4 electron volt the students here in the fundamental equation that will be using is the einstein's photoelectric equation that is the instant energy at c by lambda will be equal to the work function that is at c by lambda naught where lambda naught is the threshold wavelength plus k m where Km is the maximum kinetic energy of the photoelectrons. Now, dear students, therefore Km can be written to be equal to Hc 1 by lambda minus 1 by lambda naught. Now, dear students, if you want to find out the value of kinetic energy in electron volt, we can simply divide Hc with E and this will be our value in electron volt. Hc by E has an approximate value of equal to 1 to 4 double zero and this will be 1 by 1000 minus 1 by 2000 and giving us a value of 6.2 electron volt and hence for this question the correct answer therefore is option number 2. Well, let us solve the question number 4. In question 4 the electric field in a certain region is given by E is equal to 5i cap kilo volt per meter. The potential difference Vb minus Va between two points A and B having coordinates 4,0,0 and 10,3,0 respectively is equal to. The coordinates x, y, z are in meter and the four options are 12 kilo volt, 8 kilo volt, minus 42 kilo volt and minus 30 kilo volt. The students as per the definition Vb minus Va can be written to be equal to negative of E dot dr from Ra to Rb, where Ra and Rb are position vectors of A and B. So, this can be written as 
integration of 4 comma 0 comma 0 till 10 comma 3 comma 0 i is given to be equal to 5 i cap and dr can be written as dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. So this will be equal to minus of 5 dx integration from 4 comma 0 comma 0 till 10 comma 3 comma 0 and this will be equal to minus 5x and the limits of x will be 4 to 10. On substituting the limits we get a value of minus 30 kilovolt and hence for this question we can clearly see that the correct answer is option number 4. Now dear students let us solve the question number 5. Moving on to this question the question says which of the following graphs best represents the variation of resistivity rho with temperature T for manganin and the four graphs are given to us. This students, it is a fairly theoretical question and we can solve it by referring it directly to the NCERT. For the manganin, the variation of resistivity with temperature is having the following form that rho is equal to rho naught 1 plus alpha T where alpha is called as the thermal coefficient of resistivity. We can clearly see that the variation here is linear. And therefore, the graph will be linear as well. And the best answer for this question, therefore, should be option number 2. Now, let us proceed to the next question. 